Hey everyone, I of course hope you're doing well through these complicated times, pandemic and otherwise, that you're safe and optimistic through it all, however involved you may be. Now this took me a little bit longer than I would have liked, but of course February recently ended, so time to talk a little bit about what I got over the month. First, in the realm of toys, there is Black Arachnia from Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom. Deluxe figure of the classic Beast Wars female Predacon. Turns into a Black Widow Spider. More realistic beast mode this time. More show accurate robot mode. Looking for a nice balance for an overall impressive toy. And then in the same line and same size assortment is Cheetor. The famed Maximal Warrior is applied by his name and his little chest plate turns into a cheetah. Still, again, more realistic beast mode, but the robot mode takes oddly quite a few liberties from the show design. Still very enjoyable to have him, though. <clears throat> Over to Blu-ray stuff. A new Criterion release is Madabi, released in 1968, directed by Osman Senven. About a man in Senegal who finds kind of funny and dramatic situations in his life when he receives a money order from a relative in France. Sounds like an interesting, like, cross-cultural story. And also, very thick booklet inside in that it includes the, like, novella, I believe, technically, that the director actually wrote before this, upon which it's based. So, that's pretty cool. Shifting to anime from Viz, there is kind of both set seven of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure overall and set two of the Golden Wind arc, including the latter 19 episodes of the season. Shifting things a bit for the Passione Mafia team that Giorno is a member of as they now scheme to outright take down the boss of the organization to more radically shift it towards reform instead of the obvious corruption and other, you know, drug dealing and all that that they deal with, that they are involved with. Still kind of bummed that the, like, packaging exterior and physical extras have shifted from the previous sets, but 
still very excited to have this. Interesting season with an interesting set. Still more Transformers Kingdom toys in let's see here. Megatron parentheses Beast because there is a toy of the original Megatron in this line. But this is his Beast Wars descendant counterpart, leader of the Predacons. Turns into a T-Rex. Realistic in the Jurassic Park kind of sense. Again, very show accurate robot mode. And even the like T-Rex skin is kind of a softer plastic. So it makes them feel kind of appropriately leathery, which is pretty cool design touch to add on top of an already cool take on the character. Do some comics from IDW. There's issue two of Transformers Escape. The I'm like this right, I believe five issue miniseries. Written by Brian Ruckley with art by Beth McGuire Smith. Wheeljack and the others start getting their evacuation plan into motion with allies and enemies along the way. While Shockwave and the Insecticons both work together and plan behind each other's backs. If you knew about this title, this would be quite expected by now in the video. Transformers Beast Wars Issue 1. The debut issue of a new ongoing series for Mighty W. Celebrating the 25th anniversary of the franchise. With the new take by, written by Eric Burnham, art by Josh Burcham. Total reboot, unconnected to the 90s stuff, but kind of picking and choosing similar, like classic and new elements, in which sometime after the Autobot Decepticon War, a Predacon criminal, christening himself Megatron, steals a maximal artifact requires a crew to do so, and Maximal Crew, led by Optimus Primal, has to chase them through time and space, now finding themselves on a strange world that may or may not be a prehistoric Earth. Of course, Beast Wars introduced me to Transformers, so Seeing <clears throat> brand new take on it is very exciting to see after all this time. More toys. <laughs> kind of bought scattered throughout the month. Uh, again from Kingdom, Voyager class. Optimus Primal, don't think I mentioned Megatron is leader class. Again, the Maximal Leader turns into a gorilla. Very happy with him. Includes all the classic weapons he had in the show's first season. Impressively realistic. Well, at least overall more realistic gorilla mode 
and again, very show accurate like this. I will note that some of the white paint on his thighs due to transformation can get a little scraped up. So that's kind of a drawback of maintaining him, but otherwise very impressed. And finally in this category, <laughs> the core class Kingdom Rat Trap. Kind of comic relief, sarcastic maximal, turns into a rat. <laughs> But it keeps the overall trend going of show accurate robot mode, more realistic beast mode. Very impressed with how close they got with both forms at this size. So that's that little <coughs> assortment. But a little more criterion. The Blu-ray of Man Push Cart, directed by directed by Ramin Barani, released in two thousand five, his feature directing debut. Kind of a fish out of water story, I believe, of a former Middle Eastern musician who finds himself now working a food cart in New York. Again, kind of a cross-cultural journey. In a different vein, but vaguely connected, like Mandavi. And the Blu-ray of Smooth Talk, released in 1985, directed by Joyce Chopra. It's kind of coming of age drama about a young woman who's pretty nice life of enjoying the summer at this time. Gets disrupted by meaning like unusual older man. Sounds like a kind of a watch I'll have to maybe emotionally prepare myself for. But still glad to get it. And finally from Boombox the trade paperback of Lumberjanes Volume 17 Smitten in the Stars. Collecting issues 65 to 68. Written by Shannon Waters and Kat Lay. Illustrated by Kanesha C. Bryant. Which, this volume's <coughs> series of adventures are kicked off from a night of stargazing, featuring things such as an encounter with the Norse goddess Freya. Some more hijinks, as the series knows how. <clears throat> as you may have noticed, no Transformers cards this time. Very hard to get Wave 5 right now. I'll see if there's something I can do to collect at least one more little assortment of them fish off my collecting on kind of my terms. <laughs> but otherwise, really nice assortment. Very Transformers heavy, obviously. But still, a bit of different movies, TV, and comics, along with all the 
toys and single issues. Again, maybe a little bit of unexpected stuff during March, but a couple things I plan to definitely get during the time. So yeah, like I said at the beginning, hope you're doing well through all this, both being careful and looking ahead. So with that, I guess I'll see you in early April to talk about both the March purchases and some noteworthy birthday gifts I'll get later on. See you later, folks.